Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Stats. Uh, today we're going to be starting a new series on how to work with the Google Maps in our Drupal website. Uh, for this uh, tutorial we're going to be making use of a module called the GMAP module uh, which is uh, a module that provides an interface uh, to the Google Maps API within Drupal. Uh, we're going to be using this in collaboration with the location module. Uh, so what we're going to be trying to do is uh, say for example we've got a company uh, and um, it's got different branches uh, say all over the UK and we want to try and point out all our branches on the map and when you click on it on the marker it um, kind of um, brings out the address or say for example we want to get a list of all the hospitals uh, in London for example uh, we can create a marker or different markers for different hospitals in London and when you click on any of them uh, it shows you the address so to begin this, uh, we're going to be using two emojis. Let's quickly download it using our Drush command line. So we're going to download uh, Drush. Uh, download. We're going to be downloading the location module and the GMAP uh, module. So download that. Right, once those two modules have been downloaded, we go to our website. Uh, so we go to location, uh, or look our host tutorial website. Uh, we click on modules. And let's enable our modules. Uh, first of all, let's go to uh, location. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be enabling the GMAP, GMAP location, uh, location module, and the node location module. You can edit, enable user access, uh, user location if you like. Uh, let's enable that also, and then we will click on save configuration. Uh, once our module has been enabled, the next thing we want to do is configure uh, location. And our GMAP module. So let's go ahead to configuration. I click on configuration, and we should find our location module uh, listed on the content authoring and our GMAP and GMAP location on the web services. So let's go ahead and click on GMAP. Right. Uh, for this um, version, uh, you do not need uh, a Google Maps API. For earlier versions. Uh, you would have needed an API. So because we don't need this, we can skip this bit. Uh, you can decide to increase your width. Uh, 300 by 200 pixels is a little bit small. So you can make it something like 500 by maybe 500 pixel. Uh, right. So the next bit is you want to choose your default center. Uh, where do you want to be the center of your map? So for example, as I zoom, you find out that the value here begins to change. Alright, so because we're going to be working with United Kingdom, if I zoom into United Kingdom, it changes. And I will zoom into London and bring London to the center. And once this done, I make this the center of my uh, map. That's my default center. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, maximum initial zoom. You could change that one, default zoom 7, uh, to whatever you like. You can change your colors. The few colors, the stroke opacity, whatever you like. Uh, mend all these ones if you like. I pretty much like everything the way it is set here. Uh, no keyboard, no drag. Uh, just try and play around all this configuration. And once that's done, Mac action, do nothing, open info window, open link. And for this one, I'll say open info window. Once that's done, um, no manager, blah, blah, blah. I click on save configuration and that is how to configure our GMAP module. Once that's done, let's go back to web services and let's look at our GMAP location. Right, for this one, this is what's going to be the header. This map illustrates the extent of users of this website. Now, because we enabled, uh, if we go back to modules, because we enable uh, our node location and our user locations, we've got user map here and we've got node settings here. So you want to be careful which one you are uh, mending or adjusting uh, to work with. Uh, before we go ahead, uh, let's, we can change uh, the header of whatever our map is. You can set a footer if you like, open info in window. Yes, we can do that. And now for marker for article and marker for few slideshow, the default is triple. Now, uh, many of you might not know what this means. 
So let's let me quickly open the folder and I'll show you what it means. Right in my size modules folder, if we go into uh, GMOP folder and if we go into markers, we'll see a list of markers that we're going to be using on our map. So this is what the Drupal map is going to look like. It looks really ugly. Uh, no offense. Uh, so these are different markers. You can choose whatever one you like. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the big one. I'm going to be using the big red. For you, you can use the big blue, you can use the shadow, whichever one you like. But we'll be using the big red, which is what we normally see uh, regularly. So you can change this for marker. We'll change this to big red. Uh, marker for field slicer, we'll not be using that one. Marker for job application, we won't be using that. So we'll just be using this for our article. So once that's set, I click on save configuration we'll still be coming back to this bit uh, so if we go back to configuration next bit we want to go to is our location module in our location module you can select the default country set that to United Kingdom a toggle display look toggle location display enable the display applications yes province display blah 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 whatever you like Enable GIT, open map, new window. Uh, this is fine with me. Click on save configuration. If you go to map links, do we have anything to set here? Nope. Nope. And uh, nope. So we are good to go. So let's go back to our home page. Next thing we want to go is go to uh, content type and let's go to article. Now in our article content type, we we'll find out that a new tab has been added to it called the locative information. If I click on locative information, this is where I make my settings. I can say minimum number of locations, zero, maximum number of locations, maybe one, number of locations that can be added at once, one, that's all right with me, collapsible, collapse, yes, and uh, I'll leave all these default settings. Once that's done, I will click on save content type. Right, this is where the fun bit begins. Now if we go back to our location in our configuration page. Um, okay, let, let, let's let's let, let's let's create a new content type now. Uh, so let's add content, add content of article. And let's call it um all speech one. hospital one and say what should we call it um, branch one and um, this branch is located at blah blah and uh, next thing we want to do is go to a location field right uh at the moment you find that our map is not visible here for us to choose we only have the ability to set latitude and longitude if we go back to our local host if we go back to configuration and click on location uh display use a google map to set latitude and longitude if we click that now and click on save configuration now we'll find that i'll be able to use the google map to set the longitude and the latitude because we do not know it so if i click on refresh and if i scroll down click on location we should now find a map here which which we can use to set our longitude and latitude so let's go ahead let's uh, create this again call this branch one branch one this is a branch of his one once that's done our location name you can call this branch of his one street branch one street and uh, we can begin to adjust where we want it to be so if it's about we want it in london so we move we zoom into London 
And um, in London, let's take it to Kensington Gardens or let's take it to Fulham Road or Kensington Gardens. Now, anywhere you want to put a marker, once you click there, the marker should appear. Now, because that's a popular place, it was showing me the information. So, with this marker now, I can begin to drag it to wherever I want it to be. So, let's zoom in a little more here. Let's add this to uh, let's add our marker now to Imperial College Road, and that should be fine for us. Put that in the center. Now we have our latitude and longitude. If I click on save, I uh, will find that, that we've created our branch office one uh, with this uh, latitude and longitude. Now at the moment it looks like it's not looking too fantastic but let's create like um, two more branches uh, so now that uh, three branches have been created uh, if we click on node locations now uh, and scroll down to United Kingdom we'll find out that now it begins to show uh, three different branches our overall first one as branch 3, as branch 2, and that's branch 1. If I click on it, it gives me uh, the brief information about our branch. So, branch 1 submitted, this is branch of this one location, branch of this one, branch 1 street, United Kingdom. So, this is the way our uh, GMAP uh, uh, Moji works. Uh, in a situation where we want to centralize um, this bit, because when we came in, we saw it was a little bit uh, um, not very the way we like it. So let's try and change the way this works. If you go back to um, GMAP location, and go to our location module, uh, GMAP. And remember the first time we set the center, so we can copy this center and click on copy. Go to GMAP location and then with settings, we adjust that center V. I just said, yeah. V and zoom. Let's set this to six. Height can be set to four hundred. Yep. And if we click on save configuration and go back to our home page and click on node location, we see now that it is zoomed in proper, and then we can zoom in and see the different branches uh, that have been created uh, using uh, uh, GMAP module. Uh, in a situation where say for example you want to call these branch offices since this is under the navigation menu uh, if you go here and say uh, edit menu or uh, navigation uh, listings which is called uh, node location uh, you can go ahead and change it to whatever name you want to call it uh, however i would not suggest this i'll suggest you creating a views page uh, using the gmap in our second tutorial, we'll look at how to use the GMAP module with the Views module. See you in the next tutorial.